my god, my hair is an absolute mess, isn't it? Just look at state. We are now in Queensland. Um, in I don't think we're actually in Gold Coast, though, are we? Where we're, we're in, in where we're, we're in, in, Yeah, we're at Burley Heads, which I think is in Gold Coast. I mean, the signs are that say Gold Coast, so we're in Gold Coast. Um, but we're at Burley Heads Park, and I'm just going to walk around and um, see what it's like here. Yeah. We're pretty much here for two days, well, tonight and tomorrow. Um, we're like in this area, so we'll just see what everything's like. All day. You've got a whole day tomorrow. Basically. Yeah. Probably can't even hear me, but yeah, that's Gold Coast. That's the Paradise Actual like, City over there. Um, and then. We are now going to head to our Airbnb for the evening um, and Jack just confused the hell out of me because he was like oh yeah we can go because it's only half five but on the car our phones say half four and we're like why what the hell remembered we've gone into the last state which is Queensland which is only 10 hours ahead so we've gone back an hour now um, so it's throwing us off um so yeah this is the fourth state that we've been in and the last state that we'll go in um which we've still got like just under two weeks here um but still makes it sad at the same time um and i still haven't really tanned really like i need to get on the tanning we're gonna have a really chill day tomorrow have a quick look around like the city and then i think just spend the day on the beach um we haven't really had a chill day since when was the last time we had a chill day sydney. Uh, yeah maybe sydney not really manly no because that was new year's eve that was that actually probably was in perth like an actual chill day was probably perth so we're gonna have a look around the city and then actually just spend the um like day on the beach tomorrow Good morning everyone. The vlogs have been a bit weird because I keep, I don't, I don't, I haven't been finding time to like upload on my laptop and stuff quick enough to sort them out on where I'm editing. So I don't really know if this is a new video or if this is carrying on from an old video. If not, hi, welcome back. Um, we are in Gold Coast. Um, we'll technically surf as paradise now. Um, and we're gonna have a look around here and we're gonna go on the sky deck um, and also have some lunch there as well. Um, and look around the city and the beaches and then we're gonna have a chill day and so with the chill day we are just gonna um, yeah look around here and then actually just go down to the beach and just chill for the day because our legs and arms are hurting from surfing yesterday um, oh the steps um, yeah I'll just show you I'll also try and find the building today that um but I'm a celebrity and stuff do the jump off, so we'll just see what happens. There's the classic Surfers Paradise sign. Gonna do the Skypoint observation all the way up there. And we also have a meal booked as well. Hello, welcome to Paradise time we filmed. That's how my arm looks. Yeah, truckers are on that. Or is that just because I'm so white? Probably. Um, I can't remember the last time I filmed actually. Uh, I think it was in um, in where we had lunch. I think, I don't know. Um, we. Yeah. I think I did, yeah. Um, we are back at our Airbnb now. Um, we have just gone down to the beach, down on Miami Beach, and um, had some fun in the sea. I say fun, actually. It was more of like a workout, because um, it was a really strong current. Um, so it just kept pulling you to one side. And <laughs> one I'm, side and then out. Yeah, and I'm very weak. And we're just aching from yesterday as well, which doesn't help. Um, my lifeguard actually did swim out a couple of times to pull people back in because they were getting stuck in the current and like couldn't make their way back in um, which was entertaining is the wrong word but it was like cool uh, to see well. it's now like 4pm 
20 past five. Oh, 20 past five. I thought it was earlier than that. Obviously it isn't. Um, and we're just looking to where to go for tea tonight. And Dinner. Yeah. And seeing as I've got some time on my hands, I thought I'd actually spruce myself up and put some makeup on for once. So just sat here getting myself ready. So I have got all dressed up for the evening. Um, don't really know why to be honest. Um, and we've come back down to Miami Beach. Um, and I really want to take some pictures, some like nice pictures. I was hoping to catch the sunset. Um, yeah. <laughs> sun has set. Um, but like it's still like a nice ish background. So try and capture some. Mr. Winterman. So, um, see what happens. But this is the fit. Yes. Um, I feel like my makeup is on point. So we've come down into Service Paradise for the evening and we're going to go and have a look at this market. everybody um i'm not even gonna say like welcome back to the channel or anything like that anymore because i have no idea when and where these videos like are going or if they're joined with anything um so just hello everyone um we have left uh gold coast now um or miami really i should say because that's more where we were too um and we are now heading to brisbane we just stopped in the services to go and have some breakfast and we tried McDonald's breakfast for the first time. Mine was nice. How would you rate yours? Better than the UK. Yeah, they do taste a lot better than the UK. I th like, it sounds really silly, so but like, cause it's probably the same, but like the meat just tastes better here in like McDonald's and stuff like that. Same with like KFC as well. Um, I, d I don't know why, like, I don't know again if it's like, some law crap or anything back in the UK um, but yeah everything like it was quite nice um, and yeah so we're heading to Brisbane we're gonna look around the city so I'll take you along um, and then tomorrow we're going to Australia Zoo which is the zoo that was um, owned by Steve Irwin it'd be interesting to see if we see them like I um, I love Robert Irwin I think he's so lovely and he's just like his dad I believe that Australia Zoo took in a lot of koalas um, that got caught in those bushfires a few years ago so it'd be quite cool to see some of them and again they've got like free roaming kangaroos so should be able to feed some more kangaroos tomorrow um, so be quite an interesting video but yeah for now I will say goodbye and we'll see you in Brisbane so we've just come into this like weird little arcade thing I've got myself some little tokens so we're gonna try and win something so I've got all of this we could just go in the massage chair it's so cool in here we got these little things as well Up to you. Scam. Complete scam. Turn it on. Try on hats. Let me. So we've just been in cotton on and I've got a new little dress to do wear to the bit Sundays. It's a nice little white dress. Jack's bought some boxers and I think a pair of board shorts and I've bought us like a two little pillows as well to go on the beach with. Just to have a bit of comfort, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Money we don't need to spend, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Um I and got a hat. yeah, oh you got a bucket hat as well. Um and now we're walking to the like iconic Brisbane sign down on South Bank. Yeah. So yeah, I'll see you in a sec. So here is the iconic Brisbane song down on South Bank. Just walking through South Bank Park and I just think this is really pretty. So just found a man-made beach down on the South Bank. 
don't want to get in. I'm too hot. Look at my ice cream. Yeah. Paul. Paul Black woke up. So I've just checked into hotel and uh, that's the most satisfying thing that Jack's found is that the curtains are open like this. I'll just they give... are magic curtains, but they're broken. Yeah, they that's are. Bit, you, you have to stand up. To yeah, you do have to give it a bit of a tug. Um, oh, here you go. He thinks it's great. Hello. So you come in here and you've got a microwave. Um, um, I think in here was a fridge. And you've got like a little kev kettle and coffees. It's quite nice. Um, yeah. And then you got some plates and stuff in there. And then you got the wardrobes here. Um, an iron board and some robes and slippers, which we're going to go down to the pool in a minute. So we'll do well, that. Well, we'll do it outside. Yeah. And then this one here, you've got a safe and some drawers and some more hanging space. And then you've got the room here, and you've got the TV. And then I'll show you the view in a sec because it's nice. And then you've got the bathroom in here, which is really a big mirror. And then also on the desk, which I think is quite cool, quite nice if I wear makeup, which I'm probably not going to, um, is they've got a mirror there where you can actually sit and like do your makeup if you want to do. Um, and then the view. Where's there a pool? Oh yeah, wow. There's a pool down there on, I'm gonna say that's an apartment building. Mm. That looks like an apartment building to me. And um, we've got a pool there, which is quite cool. And then this is quite a nice view of the park. And then over there, they call the river. But we're gonna go and get our belongings. Um, and then I think we want to come back and go in the pool because it's so hot outside. Um, and we did think about going back down to that beach and stuff, but um, it's very hot walking down there. And we want to go down there later anyway to catch a ferry because we're going to go to something called Eat Streets, um, which looks really cool. Um, and then it's back down that way, so it just seems pointless walking down there to go to the swimming pool, get all nice and cool down, then walk back and get hot, and then walk back again getting hot, whereas we might as well just chill here in the pool, cool ourselves off, then just walk over and get hot just twice walking there and back. So we are dressed and changed from going swimming. And oh, we just put have, some clothes on. Yeah, true. Um, and we have come down to Me Street, so I'll show you what it's like inside. But my dress is blowing up. Give it up for Thor. 
morning everyone still the same video i think i didn't end yesterday's um no like the evening yesterday um but yeah we came back from east streets um and we just like chilled them for the rest of the evening and i've got this on my nose which is really sad but today we've come to australia zoo which is what i was saying about where steve's out steve urban so it's quite busy maybe we should have come here a bit earlier but yeah enjoy the day so we're in now and the first thing we have found is a rhinoceros iguana I think I post it, just there, chilling. Supposedly the bumpier the head, the more girls he'll get. Apparently. So these are the largest tortoises in the world. But it's also joined by a little little lizard over there. Um 50, 50. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was over there and it just chased something into the bush. It's over there. Oh, it's here. And then I'll say in that once they've bonded with another, uh, with another, then um, they'll stay. Hello. Some little turtles. These are turtles, right? Yeah. Turtles oh, swim towards the water on land. Some big ones. And a bit of lizard again. Hey, what's this one called? A mothman? Mosman croc. Is it a croc or alligator? Croc. So these are the crocs here that he first ever caught when he was nine years old and they're freshwater ones. There's one there. It's a couple over here. Oh, the old koalas. Let him finish his mouthful. No. We're videoing. Check him out, let's get him into the water. Those are long, skinny legs. 
they do look a little bit funny. But as you can see, they keep that body high and dry above the water, where he'll then use his stealth-like precision and that sword-like feet to stab out and grab. Moto Dragons being an apex predator, they are, within their rights, a dangerous animal. And whether it's a Komodo dragon, an elephant, a crocodile, it doesn't matter. Working with these animals, it is our priority to be safe. And when we work with these animals safely, it means that we can have a much better relationship with them to give them a much better quality of life. That's what we want to hear. You can do it louder. You're about to be a scrapper. Come on, who wants to meet him? That's what we want to hear. So here's Scrapper making his way out of the Panada. You guys can see this because Steve, he's designed this. Uh, Croc is seeing that crystal clear water. Now this crystal clear water allows you to see what Scrapper would be doing if he was hunting out in the wild. Now, he's probably submitted an effort for that weight on hard, solid ground. Scrapper's been doing whatever he wants lately. But I'll see if I can get him over here for another strike. But you'll see immediately he submerges. Now he's basing his movement on vibration alone. So he can feel those pressure changes in the water as I stand my feet on the bottom and splash around a little bit. See if we can get him out for another hit. There's not a lot of room to move over here. Scrapper's pretty fast. We just found the other thing which is there washing themselves off there. Oh well you are. of the pool there, that's Nelson. So he is a three and a half year old male Sumatran tiger. So by nature he is actually quite energetic. He has come out here. He probably just needs to cool his body down a little bit. So we've come down to the Africa section now. So we have left um, Australia Zoo. Um, we've left, well, I've been out there actually probably for like a good hour, probably more than that, a little bit more. Um, we had a little bit of an issue, we were trying to sort out our hotel in Cairns. Um, we had one booked, but for some reason the car got declined, um, even though we'd booked that back in July, I think. So like, it pre-reserved everything on that card anyway. Um, but they must have now like just like wanted to accept the money now um, and then he declined it for some reason I don't know why but we managed to sort it out after talking to about I think I talked to four different people which was a bit irritating but we got it sorted um, we are currently in like the Noosa area um, we were going to go down and actually probably look around the town but it is busy like it was so busy down there there was cars just parking anywhere um and we don't want to do that and we just want to get on and go because we are staying at um rainbow beach tonight in freedom hostels you've probably heard of it um it's quite a popular um hostel to stay in if you're going on to do fraser island which is what we're doing tomorrow so that's where we're heading to now so i'm gonna end this video here um i hope you enjoyed it um and then i'm gonna start our Fraser Island video when we get to our hostel and um, I'll show you the hostel but yes um, I hope you are enjoying it and uh, I'll see you in the next video bye so just driving around you can't really see it because of the sun I don't know if I do that it'll be better there you go kangaroo first wild kangaroo